William Wordsworth Why minstrel these untuneful murmurings? A sonnet published in 1827 Why minstrel these untuneful murmurings? Dull, flagging notes that with each other jar Think, gentle lady, of a harp so far from its own country and forgive the strings. A simple answer. But even so, forth springs from the Castalian fountain of the heart, the poetry of life. And all that art from the submissive necks of guiltless men stretched on the block the glittering axe recoils. Sun, moon and stars all struggle in the toils of mortal sympathy. What wonder then that the poor harp distempered music yields to its sad lord far from his native field. As we move on from the last sonnet, one of positive emotions at looking upon the sight of a beautiful picture, we move to a bleak experience of human life, the shadow side depicted in the above poem. The poet makes great claims for the power of the poetry of life, which springs from the fountain of the heart. It is the divine art. This is a sonnet that I have read repeatedly without feeling that I have really plumbed its depth with meanings that are slippery and changing on each reading. The poem conveys a bleakness experienced by us all at some time in life. Wordsworth draws on different art forms in this sonnet that of music and poetry, to evoke a strong emotion, just as he did on looking at a beautiful painting, illustrating the power of painting and words. Art moves us and opens our lives to a fuller spectrum of what it means to be human. Is this minstrel far from his homeland? Or could it be that he feels he doesn't belong in this world with all its mindless violence and wars? It is a torture akin to being stretched on the block for him. He is the one that is in tune with struggling sun and moons. Could this be a poem for today's world in turmoil? Climate change? wars and mindless violence and now COVID-19. Do we submit too easily to all we are told without questioning it? What music, painting, poetry, play and dance will emerge from this period we are living through? If this reading of the sonnet has any merit at all, it is to understand with empathy the minstrel's distress. Like the gentle lady questioned the minstrel, we must be sensitive and listen to the lived experiences of those who suffer in a world and feel out of tune and homesick. The minstrel's answer to the lady is a healthy response to the wrongs of the world. The arts have much to teach us about what it means to be human whether they be written centuries ago or in the 21st century.